When you look at this mural, you might be thinking to yourself, why didn't they finish it? It looks like it's a work in progress. Well, this is actually a mural of a muralist painting a mural. The man on the right looks as if he's stepping up to a painting um, to finish the painting. His name is Barry Faulkner. Barry Faulkner was born and raised in Keene and became a famous artist. He painted murals all around the country. One of his most famous murals is in Washington, D.C. today. So Tom Siebert, uh, the designer of this mural, chose that as his inspiration. Barry Faulkner in the 1930s painted a mural of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Now, just like our designer had to do for this mural to do a lot of research about what Barry looked like and what the murals looked like, the actual artist, Barry Faulkner, too, had to do a lot of research for his mural. Who was at the signing of the Declaration of Independence? What did their clothes look like? What did the individuals look like? He spent a lot of time on this, and, and you can see that in the mural, that he's really thinking and studying about this. The actual mural is 14 feet by 37 and a half feet long. It is huge. And of course, we condensed it, made it a little bit smaller so we could fit it in keen on this wall. But when the Barry Faulkner, the real artist, had to paint the real painting, he actually rented out the upper level of Grand Central Station, a huge train station, so he had enough room to fit his canvas just to paint this painting.